Did you know that there are seven E's in the alphabet? Me neither. Three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the B&R stream today on this fine 27th of February 2023. I hope you have had a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week coming ahead. Uh, it's the end of February, which marks the end of summer. Uh, if you go by the December, January, February categorization of months that determine summer, but it is... You know, we're getting to that point where it's getting a bit cooler, it's getting a bit rainier. It's not necessarily that cool, it's still getting some 30 degree weather in, in Sydney uh, this week, but you know, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, no, my name is Bindo, welcome to the Bindo stream. I hope you enjoy your stay, and while we enjoy our stay, let's move phones away so they don't make noise on stream, and let's jump right on over to the video game. There we go. I've still got my hydration. I'm doing hydration on stream yet again. Uh, but yeah, no, this has been a another week. A decent week for me. I've been trying to spice some things up. Um, and in doing so, I've... Uh, uh, what's the term? Felt a bit refreshed, we'll just say. This has been a refreshing week. Um, so here we go. Let's hope my memory card saved because I didn't check before the stream. Whoops. I should. Yeah, Sorcerer's Stone. I thought one thing of note, this game was made kind of a bit ahead of time of the film and therefore there is just no music from the film. But whoever did the music, they did a good job. They got the spirit. They've got the spirit in there without actually needing anything. I love how play Quidditch is one of the options here, but we'll play game. So on the last stream of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, I'm not saying Sorcerer's Stone, I'm not that kind of person, but on Philosopher's Stone, um, pretty much I've gone from the start of the game all the way until the potions class and all the stuff going on in Harry Potter's basement. Um, I have double checked as well. I have managed to get the achievements. I don't know if this is going into the place or going away to the castle. Yeah, okay. Um, but I've managed to get every bean in the game so far. Will that stay the same? Potentially not. Because um, I know that there's going to be some absolutely mean ones uh, going on. And not just these beans, but uh, the retro achievement set is actually checking for... Uh, all of the actual optional beans as well. So I've been doing a good job in actually showing all the content. I also don't know if I've missed any of the cards. Uh, I don't have any particular intention to show the cards, but I thought, you know what? I'm doing a good job so far, so let's keep trying. Uh, this music was never fixed, was it? Someone's gonna redump this game, I tell ya. Well, Hermione has just unlocked a room. This is just regular Gryffindor Tower, bro. What's so different about this? In fact, we've still got like the huge. I could probably go in. Draconis. I, could, I could just go in here and it's probably the same same kind of room it always was. Yeah, pretty much. Although I can read the Daily Prophet. Gringotts break in latest. Investigations continue into the break in at Gringotts. Rumored to be the work of dark wizards. Gringotts goblins today insist. Listen, Harry, you can't taken. categorize them as the dark wizards, the okay? In question, which remain unidentified, had been withdrawn earlier that same day. Very interesting. That's something kind of curious that happens in the book and. Honestly. For sale, issues one to six of the adventures of Martin Miggs, the Mad Muggle. Three sickles each. Three dollars? Whew. What a steal for someone's, uh... What's something that people use to, like, write stories? I was gonna say DeviantArt, but, like, nah, people don't do stories that much on that side, do they? Do they? Maybe some people do. It's the only thing they they do. Uh oh gosh. I think it's the great foyer, as the Americans call it. Unless this is where I was. Uh 
No, this kind of feels like where I was. Did Hermione go this way or did she go the other way, I feel? I thought she went up left. Left up the stairs. It'd be kind of weird if I was just like wandering all the way back through all these rooms I've been to already. And the worst part is a lot of these rooms kick in with loading screens, so you never know if you're going quite the right way. I don't recall this uh, loading screen in recent memory. We're getting the fly through, this seems about right. It's even doing the music. And there's a chocolate frog. There's a retro achievement for eating all the chocolate frogs as well, which makes me realize that there's a set number of chocolate frogs, and the frame rate is absolutely abysmal. Whoa. Hello. Don't sample the rare delights of the upper castle, eh? Just watch out for Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Anyway, we'll trade the portrait password for, oh, well, say, red every flavor beans? Chili powder flavor. Hot as blazes. Weaklings can't handle chili. Like, a little bit of chili, you're not gonna feel it. I have a lot of chili? Sure. Uh, I guess if the entire bean is chili, you know, maybe, maybe I'd feel, I'd feel a bit ouch. Uh, but until then, until then, you know, work up your appetite. Do one bean, then two beans, and three beans, and so on. Also, oh. Man, the frame rate is really having, having a moment here. I've been stopping on each of these platforms, I guess no stopping for me. Yeah, yeah, just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. We got this. Although I guess you don't miss out on beans, but you do miss out on house points, and I know I have actually missed out on some house points. Join us, Harry. We're about to start the transfiguration lesson. Why do you have to do some platforming to do transfiguration? Transfiguration is a weird thing because you never really see the characters ever using it. Transfiguration is the most complex and dangerous magic you'll learn at Hogwarts. And it's dangerous. Anyone messing around in my class will leave and not come back. You have been warned. Watch my wand move around the screen. is just perpetually holding onto that book as well. And press the points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the transfiguration oh my gosh, spell hand -waving. Aviforz. Get ready. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That was good. There's some weird background noises. I don't know if you can hear them, but like that's the Excellent. game. I'm pretty sure it's the game. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Now try and keep up. Oh, I, I love the way these guys do, like, body animations. That was good. This is some pretty long patterns, but I'm not 100% sure if this is Excellent. the last spell in the game. So, I'm kind of intending for this to be the Perfect. last stream of this PlayStation 1 game, because I don't recall it going on for too much longer. Very We're already well. at 50-something percent. Uh... That was good. Excellent. Oh boy, this is a long pattern, isn't it? Perfect. I managed to keep it up though. I'm feeling good today, I'll tell you that. Well done, class. Now let's put the spell into practice. Harry Potter, follow me, please. Let's put the spell into practice. Harry Potter, you're going to the dungeon. Welcome, Harry. First, use your wand to cast a transfiguration spell on the statue. Is that now, mid hit your symbol button at the right mid time in order to transfigure oh, the, the statue the into its new shape. Let's see if you can transform this statue, and perhaps you'll oh. find a way to reach the doorway at the top of the room. I'm just hearing all the breaths in the middle of the sentence. <gasps> so, I'm pretty sure how this works is... There's a... Uh, well, it's easier than the other one. It turns the statue into a bird, and then the platform just well floats anyway. Mr. Potter, five points to Gryffindor. Five points to Gryffindor. Now use the floating table to leave the class. Ah, yes, I do that all the time. My teachers hate it. Look at that bird going. <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah. 
Uh, yeah, this game is Meanwhile, still. Oh my gosh, we're already. Our glasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Oh, Ravenclaw's catching up. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff slacking on the job. Slytherin's gonna like cheat for a Slytherin. hot minute. Because they get 125, and I mean, you saw me at 90, I couldn't compete with that yet. But you get given Gryffindor. so many right at the end of the game. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. Ooh. The race for the house cup is heating up. Hufflepuff be like, I wish we had people. But apparently, everyone's either good or evil, and they're not just. Hi? Is that is that the the the, the category for Hufflepuff? Oh, I've already just left we've gone out. Okay, cool. I was expecting a big puzzle, but apparently uh, the puzzle is I'm locked in the high tower. And now I gotta do this puzzle at 10 FPS. Uh but yeah, I don't just I don't expect there being too much of this game, but uh there's definitely a fair bit left that's not just the, uh, um, oh, I guess the, the save is over there. Uh, fine, I'll hit the save, because this is also a Chucky Frog. Chucky Frog, mate. That's just a Freddo, man. I used to always think they were like Freddos. I'm surprised I went the whole last stream without even mentioning the word Freddo. All my, all my Australians know, no, a good Freddo. Goes a long way. And before you go, uh, I was a caramella koala kid. <sighs> Sorry, man. Can't be friends. We were a Freddo household. Oh, my... My bird has left me a package. Oh. It's Shaver Potty Potter. I've got your parcel, Potter. Want it back, do we? A little bit. Let's have a chase through the attic, then. If you beat me to the end, I might give it back. Or I might not. Let's just see, shall we? Off we go, then. Is he just going to time me already? No, because I, I was going to say I saw this little hidden room over here. This is a bit cheeky, but sure. Uh, but yeah. No, this past week has been pretty alright for me. I've actually, I beat, um... Hello, Harry. Try and get ten every flavor beans from the kitten before time From runs the out. kitten. Watch out for those unstable blocks. Good luck. From the kitten. Oh, this is just a cute little cat who's eating my beans and I'm gonna pick them up. These are the spicy beans as well. Why is this cat eating my spicy beans? Well, that could have gone better. Look at this croc platforming right here. Alright, I'll just give that cat a bit of headroom and then just chase him, I guess, considering I only have to get 10 of these. Time limit's decently forgiving, isn't it? Been up here. Ah, oh, cat. It's a, it's a bit of a weird bonus game, but sure. Well done, Harry. You collected all ten Bertie Bot's beans. Have this famous witches and wizards card as your reward. Wow, a pentagonal card. I love the pentagonal. There's nothing more magic than pentagons, you know. That's a bit demonic when I think about it, but yeah. Now this past week I've been playing through Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Particularly, uh, someone's gonna ask, yes I did play with the plus patch uh, going on. Um, so we did go up to the top, so I'm curious if there's something... Portrait room? Oh, this will be with the bonuses. So, so there's gonna be a person in here, and I bet you how they're gonna sound, they're gonna be like, Oh, hello there, Harry! I'm sorry I can't let you in, because you haven't given me enough spicy beans! Halt! You'll need a password it's to get past like me, that. my lad. Bring me the password, and you may proceed. Oh yeah, you get the password from, from the, the guys. I reward you for laziness, my boy. Yeah, okay. Alright, sure. Uh, but, yeah, no, uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, um, with the plus patch. Uh, so, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is a, as I would describe, a, a video game adaptation of a tabletop game that I have never played, but I could definitely say the gameplay does remind me of the OG Deus Ex quite a fair bit, in the sense of it's a 
first person shooter with some pretty heavy uh, leanings towards you know picking the right skills and being able to solve problems in multiple ways and having quite a fair bit of character dialogue and so on throughout the game um, it's definitely quite nice and interesting in the various ways you're able to tackle problems whether it's like you know use a skill or talk someone down or beat someone up there's a lot of cases if you mucus. get to the end before me, you win! Off we go, Potty Potter! Oh, okay. This is gonna be uh, an absolute nightmare, isn't it? And he dropped a frog over there. I think this was the classic place I would miss beans. Because it's just like... Lots of, lots of beans on the way, man. But fortunately, the ghosts uh, decided to stop for me for a hot second. I keep doing that. I'm using the uh, I'm using the analog stick, and it's just like you're able you're able to go just slightly offline. Still getting my beans though, so that's okay. And he's just kind of chilling in front of me. Maybe he always wins. Okay, I'm gonna need that frog. It's by, it's by the retro achievement. I don't want to miss my frog. It looks unimportant, but trust me, it's important to me and only me. Does he just win? Nope. I'm still going. Cool jump. Cool jump. I don't recall who this ghost is, but apparently he appears in the uh, sequel game as well. And the PC game. So we might see him- we might see quite a lot of assets in the PC game when I get around to that one. Okay, spiderweb, why not? There's a lot of roof beams, aren't there? Man, he took a while to set up this elaborate prank, didn't he? Wow, this just keeps going. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I tried to turn around. Harry was good enough to stop. I love how I'm supposed to pick up a hundred beans just for the, the regular part of the, like, the challenge. Man, you know, like, this is already half of them. Like, is this really? Oh my gosh. Oh, but he let me win at the end. He let me win. I mean, I'm, I'm too good. He just couldn't beat me. Out. Not fair. Peeves wasn't ready. Peeves wasn't ready. Peeves doesn't want your silly parcel. Take it back. Okay. Ugh. In before it was just glass. Your father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this cloak, pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time, so be careful. Apparently my cloak only works when I pick up tokens. Cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of interesting that uh, this is when the game decides to give you this power. I don't know what's going on with that wall, but sure, okay. And then, oh my gosh, what am I looking at here? Oh! I'm looking at being up here. So now I can head into that room over there. Interesting, interesting. Um, but yeah, so I played as a Toreador, which is the more smooth-talking, uh, social kind of class in the game. And the various classes in the game have some rather major differences, so much so that people say don't play as two certain classes. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Graves. I hope you're having a wonderful time. Uh, but yeah, the, um, the, uh... Oh, hello there, Mr. Well, Ed. now, students aren't allowed in here, are they? 
Uh, am I on the third floor already? There are things in the forbidden corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. Such as? No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. I love this and accent. And I'm trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Now be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time. I would totally do that. It's kind of weird that this guy comes over as like this brooding, like, groundskeeper. And then he just becomes a bit of a joke by the fourth film, let alone any of the rest. I think the theory is he doesn't even know magic anyway. This is, um, you're gonna, you know, me with the, the demon llama kind of bits there from uh, the Emperor's New Groove game. I'm gonna pick up these tokens and Harry Potter becomes invisible for a little bit. Which will allow you to just. I was going to say run past, but I guess, uh... <laughs> climb on books is the, uh, real answer. <sighs> Where's the gun? I think he's... Where is he gone? Oh, there he is. Come on, come on. Come on, are you going to go? Everyone liked a good stealth section in their, their uh, adventure game, don't they? Well, good thing he is in that room behind me. Oh. That that was not there before, by the way. I just want to know. Well, he, he's literally just cheating his way forward. But sure. Okay. So, okay. We've got an invisibility power here. And we're just going to cut scene our way through here. Yes, Mr. Filch, what is it? Uh, Professor Snape, you said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the Forbidden Corridor. Don't you have like well, a whole system and not just I one? I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. Okay. I see. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. Okay. But we have ways of dealing with interlopers. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We well, can't just... let anyone interfere with my plans. <laughs> oh my um, god, it's just gonna be evil, is no, it? No, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me. Oh my goodness. Why are they all taking the secret passageways? You're the teachers, you don't need to secretly snoop around. Snooping around as usual. Okay, well, Harry Potter and the uh, cloak that doesn't last forever. Time to take the, the high ground, Anakin. Uh, but yeah, no, the, um, uh, I thought the bits that I really, cat. Well, well, well. We are in trouble now, aren't we? <laughs> you can't yell that because the cat's up there, really? I gotta go through this whole section. I gotta go through this whole section without him even seeing me once. Which doesn't sound like much because this was kind of the first room. But man, you know, man. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's, uh, it's pretty alright, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a, uh, a Western RPG in the style of Deus Ex, so it's got that kind of more primitive kind of, well, I say primitive, but it's not necessarily, like, bad or old, just maybe you might find it a bit dated. The melee combat is a bit of, like, you know, click spam, just try and whittle down your opponent, uh, definitely the first person movement is, uh, it runs on the Source Engine, so it's a, it's a bit like Half-Life 2 more than... Than uh, you'd expect for something else. He's just, gonna, he's just gonna let me run past him. Okay. But I need the key that's up on this ledge, so. It's gonna be some way of dealing with this cat. Because the cat's gonna be chilling right there. Maybe the cat leaves. He's walking back and forth. Maybe he walks back. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, he does. He did turn back fairly quickly, that cat, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, the bits that really worked about Vampire the Masquerade is I really liked the kind of interconnectedness of a lot of the stories uh, and quest lines you'd be doing, and also how, like, kind of seamlessly it all fits together. You've got a main uh, quest line going about, but one thing I really liked was that, one, you only get experience from doing quests. You don't really get it from doing, um, you know, fighting enemies or really doing any other kind of encounter. Oh, I gotta get the get the cloak and then jump down and touch the cat. What's he, what's he doing up there? Cat. And he does the sniffles, wow. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, oops. Cat didn't see me, cat didn't see me. The spiders might have. We're gonna get the invisibility power to, like, respawn. Um, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of fun interconnectedness with the, the choices you make and how they get referenced later. There's just some quests where you'll do them and they get referenced just, like, bizarrely later in the game and you're not even expecting any of it, but it's real neat when it happens. Uh, there was one quest, uh, this is a mild spoiler, but there was one side quest I did involving finding a, uh, several hundred year old demon in a, um, in a, uh, hospital basement, and, uh, she would, uh, basically, she eats people? She's like a vampire, but, like, super vampire, because she has to eat people to live, and, uh, instead of just drinking their blood. And, uh, uh, it's a, she was like, oh, okay, I need you to, like, you know, lure someone, or, like, so someone on the top floor probably knows I'm here, you need to convince him to come down, uh, or else, like, he's gonna reveal us all. Like, sure, okay. Oh my gosh. What a very interesting room. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, and then in a later quest, there was a, um, a ghoul, basically a person who drinks vampire blood and doesn't become a vampire, but they become a bit addicted to it and they feel like the top of the world when they do it. And they're just like, oh, I need this one vampire guy. He's not giving me more blood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna tell the authorities about it. Oh, we got a, we got a storybook about the mirror. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate. Do desire other people see what you hearts. desire? I don't think they do because, like in the movie, truth. Ron the saw like he became like a Quidditch captain. A new home shortly, Dumbledore went like that was his greatest dream, just to become a Quidditch that if captain. Harry like ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? Thought Harry. So yeah, here's Dumbledore giving you, uh, great tips. Uh, you're gonna die if you go to the third floor. Also, then Harry goes to the third floor. Uh, yeah, just be prepared, bro. Oh my gosh. Harry! A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' bathroom! You're not allowed in the she girls' bathroom, out. though. We must try to rescue her straight away! Come on, Harry! We have to get moving! Let's get moving! And you are chasing right after... Well, I guess every other... every other door is locked. No one's gonna ask any questions why there's so many chocolate frogs around. There are so many chocolate frogs. Man, that achievement was really... I don't think I picked up every chocolate frog in this game, let me tell you that. And if I did, wow. Wow. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so there was this ghoul later on. And one of the options for beating the quest was to convince the girl that there was a party in the basement of the hospital uh, without telling her that there's a demon who's gonna eat her, uh, down there. And, uh, it was kind of interesting because, uh, like, you could have just killed her, but this achieved the exact same outcome, except you could just do it through dialogue as opposed to actually fighting her and actually, like, making a scene. That is a ugly Harry, fella. you distract the troll and I'll find Hermione. Okay, why'd you, why'd you dedicate me to troll duty? And we got a Crash Bandicoot sequence. 
Everyone likes a good old Crash Bandicoot sequence, especially when you start taking damage from everything. Oh my goodness. He seems like he's getting closer and closer. Oh. And I froze for a moment. Thanks, Windows 11. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, what a wonderfully circular corridor. It's tilted as well. Listen, Crash Bandicoot did it and suddenly everyone's got to do a running to the camera sequence. It's good fun and dramatic though, and definitely a, a fun kind of play on a 3D mechanics, although you're not jumping yourself, you're just kind of running around, hopefully getting all these beans. Who made these? Oh. And I fell over. I wanted to get the beans, I was thinking about those beans, man. Harry woke up in the hospital after getting mauled by a troll. Here's a question, do you... I know I died once and I couldn't rem I can't remember if you keep your beans. I guess it depends on- I don't think I kept my beans, so... This is gonna be interesting if I try and go for all the beans, isn't it? This is gonna be a tricky one, let me tell you that, but... Hey, right, let's do it, let's go for the beans. And you gotta get that frog while you're at it as well. I definitely find my thumb like starts slipping off the analog stick after holding it down for so long though. Um, but yeah, so I convinced this this ghoul person that there was a party going on in the, the hospital basement. And uh, obviously they would go to their death. So you lose humanity if you kill someone who's innocent. And this person was kind of innocent. Like they hadn't exactly done anything wrong. They're a bit of an addict, but you know, that's... It's not their fault. This person has been uh, led down the unfortunate ends of life. Uh, so, I did lose humanity for it, but one thing I found was kind of interesting was after returning back to the- oh my gosh. After returning back to the, uh, the demon, uh, she told me, and this is just a fun- oh my god, really? Really? How do you get that bean? It's just- it's just floating there. Do you gotta do a slow jump? That's gonna be kind of mean if you try and go for all that. Jeez. Um... Uh, she told me, like, you you delivered someone to me. That's the first time I've ever had anyone do that to me. And she made it a big point that she didn't want to exactly be friends with me. She was just like, you're a mutual... Not a mutual, because you're, you're not mutual with anyone. But, like, you know, you're helping me with finding these uh, these old relics. And, uh, and then, you know, I need to get out of town. But, you know... She also doesn't see me as a threat in any way, and, uh, correctly so, you can't really kill her. If you, even if you tried, she would just wreck you back. Um, but I thought it was interesting that not only was this one unrelated optional quest kind of connected to some knowledge that your character gains for doing this other quest, but also, uh, just the fact that, you know, you get a bit of appreciation where you don't necessarily expect it. And I think it's like those bits where uh, the game really shines, is that uh, you start off in this like, you know, sense of dread basically. You're thrust upon the vampire world. And you don't know what's what, hold on, okay. Well, I did die in a different spot, I guess. Uh, but you wake up in the vampire world basically going, okay, so there is a prince guy who was literally about to kill me. And, uh, he killed my, uh, my date. You don't really know too much about the person who killed you, and you don't really need to know either. Oh, sorry, sorry, who, um, turned you into a vampire. You don't really need to know either, because he's immediately killed, and it's a bit nondescript from there on out. Um, but, uh, I should probably be counting how many beans I'm getting so I can track my head when this is gonna happen. I'm pretty sure it was, like, 82 or something. Uh, but the, uh, yeah, as you get, you know, shown all the different, like, leaders and all that stuff, they all seem so, you know, kind of terrifyingly powerful, but inevitably over time you realize that you yourself are equally as powerful in, in your own way, but still, um, like, I like the idea of you taming the fear and realizing that there is still 
a large amount of humanity still left within all these people who have turned into, you know, these vampires. Okay, here's the bean. Well, I got the bean, but that wasn't quite what I wanted. I think it's because I let go of the stick, though. That's why I dropped down. This is going to be interesting if I try and get the beans. I'll take a few more stabs at it, because I know I've got plenty of time in the stream to, you know, <laughs> meander around, we'll just say. I was around 90 beans, so... I wish it wasn't near the end of this passageway, though. This is a very Croc 2 kind of thing, where it's like, they have a long level and you've got to collect the, the 100 crystals. Or you don't have to collect 100 crystals necessarily in any of the levels, but... Uh, people have definitely made it challenges to try and figure out how to collect all the crystals in each level in Croc 2. But uh, they'll put some crystals in the game where it's like, you've got to do a, a like a bounce jump off like a box in order to um, perfectly end up like on this ledge. Grab the crystals up on the ledge and then drop down to where you crush the box to, to bounce up. Um, and it's like, you just gotta like have some finesse and know how to do it in order to really like get the hundred crystals. So it's probably like that where it's like, you know, they, oh, they don't expect to get every bean, but like they clearly put that one just sitting there, so. Alright, one bean here. Alright, here we go. There we go, that was easy enough. And then I missed one bean. That was probably nearly it, but oh my goodness, Harry is getting more and more killed. Do you remember the him running like this far in the in the movie? I feel like he kind of just walks into the the bathroom and the trolls is there. Or there was there was a there's some ominous shots of the troll like wandering around. To be honest as well, the explanation of who let off the troll was also rather uh quickly pulled off in the, the film as well. I feel like when you find out who, like, lets off the troll, like, the only reason is you provided a distraction so that you could have gotten, uh, the Philosopher's Stone. I think that was the reason, pretty much. And it's just like, okay, but where'd you get the troll from? Like, like, I want to know how you managed to get the troll all the way into Hogwarts. No one batted an eye, but then it's like, oh, but you accidentally let it loose in the girl's bathroom. Professor Squirrel is Squirrel. Professor Quirrell is gonna get a, you know, more charges for a, for a sexual harassment more than a, more than a just serving the peace with this. I'll tell you that. Spoilers. That's who's behind it. But listen, the film's like 20 years old. Right, what does that mean? Alright, we're in the unknown on beans here. Drug. Bean. Drug. Drug. There we go, first try. Oh, <laughs> the girl's bathroom is so far away? Bro, that's like, that's like, what's the meme of like, women's lines to the bathrooms? And it's like men's lines. It's like, oh, they don't need a long line, so it's just short as. Look how high the ceiling is. Oh, oh he's punching through. Actually, I do joke head. about that, but Use like, I I attended the concert last year, and it was like, the line to the men's bathroom was so long. And I just get hit with the. I'm pretty sure you just gotta break these while he like carries the. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. Oh, good job, Ron. Good job, Ron. Get him, Ron. It's like a kind of sizable delay on doing anything. Bonk. I'm assuming there's a best of three on the. That was it, actually. Wow! Did you see that? Thank you, boys. She's not gonna let go of the book, is she? Man, Professor Quirrell was gonna be okay with getting, like, Hermione killed. That would have been... Well, I <laughs> I feel like it was pretty indiscriminate, but it's like, yeah, who do you... Like, what do you think's gonna happen? Oh my goodness! 
The music is not having its fun time here. Mr. Potter, Hogwarts' second Quidditch match of the year is about to begin. Gryffindor will be competing against the redoubtable talents of the Ravenclaw redoubtable. team. Redoubtable? Wow. I realize this comes on short notice, but you're the best seeker we've had for ages. We're all waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch, so come at once. Deputy Headmistress McGonagall. You think there's like mobile phones or something? We are, I am, I gotta wander all the way back here, don't I? Wow, they're a bit mean, aren't they? Think about it, they only put beans in the troll sequence and the... Getting ready for Quidditch, are you? It's Potty going to be an exciting sequence. game. Ravenclaw is a fine team. A fine Hagrid, team. What do you know about the third floor? You mean Fluffy. Fluffy? What? Yo, I bought him off a Greek chappy I met in the pub last year. I lent him a Dumbledore to guard the, uh... Guard the what? Don't ask me any more. That's top secret, that is. You forget that dog and what he's guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Who's Nicholas Flamel? Flamel. Never you mind, I'm off. You better get going, Harry. The Quidditch match is about to start. Alright, well, away I go. Into Quidditch land. Quidditch boys. Yet again. Uh, but, yeah, no, I really liked the way the quests all worked out, and I really liked... Quidditch! Oh I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch we let a ten-year-old commentate this Quidditch match. Although they kind score. of did in the film as well, so... Because I'm pretty sure, like, Two first years in Harry Potter are, like, ten years old, so... I don't know, I always felt like there was a huge distinction when you were like 10 and when you're 17, like even somewhere in the middle. Oh, good thing it releases speed rings. Alright, here I go. Hopefully this Quidditch match will play any differently to the last Quidditch match. Of gold. Is that the snitch? Bro, what if the snitch just flies way away? Yeah! You gotta do the backflip. Alright. I forgot what the four on the, the bottom right is. Oh, we'll figure it out soon. Whoops. Oh, that was close! We'll figure it out soon. Maybe it's the number of goals that, uh... Or the number of times you could get hit. One of the two. Uh, yeah, no, I would definitely, uh... Oh, uh, other things about Vampire the Masquerade? Yeah, I really like how the quests all, uh, like, the actual skills you have. I think that there is a degree of, like, you know, at some point you don't really feel like you need more sneak. Um, because I just felt like the stealthing was a bit like, too easy once you had like four or five sneak. It was like, yeah, I can, I can work with this. There's not really any occasion where it was too necessary, at least in the plus patch. Uh, but combat was definitely an interesting one because it's like I lent kind of hard into the melee um, skill only to then kind of get a bit caught out near the end of the game. Uh, but I fortunately had enough points to... Oh, oh. I fortunately had enough points to start like, you know, topping off my, uh, my range... Uh, you know, weapons skill a bit, so I didn't feel too caught out when uh, the game really needed me to do combat, and I think that's uh, in some part the uh, the plus patch. Oh my gosh, that's in some part the plus patch. Oh, there we go. Whoops! <laughs> didn't even open my hand; it just bounced back. Um, I think that's some in part to the plus patch. Uh, definitely made um, the the amount of experience points you get a bit nicer. I also feel like maybe it's just because I did a lot of the side content, so I felt pretty okay in that regard. Um, but I definitely did feel that, like, I had a bit of toying around room with the skills, so that was okay. Um, but they all felt decently fleshed out. Like, I, I feel... i some bad news, Harry. Norbert isn't doing too well. He's very sick. He was just need born. need some special dragon tonic to pep him up again. The tonic needs some very rare components, though, and there aren't any in the castle. So you and I must go to Diagon Alley to get him. Uh, yeah, just, I'm just being sent straight to Diagon Alley. I still can't do my bonus room. 
Fred and George were right there when I was reading the note, and it's just like, nope, now you're in, now you're in Diagon Alley. It's kind of weird he takes you away from Hogwarts, just to, just to buy, like, stuff for, for the little dragon thing. But sure, okay. PS1 Hagrid. Never, never we ceases to amaze peacock me. peacock feathers, one eagle owl feather, and three giant purple toad warts. But we can't buy anything without money. Go to Gringotts to get some canuts, sickles, and galleons. Grip hook will see you right. I'm off to the leaky cauldron for a few butter beers if you need me. I'll meet you when you're all done. Oh, wait, sorry, excuse me, Hagrid. You're like, oh, Norbert is sick. We need stuff. Also, I'm going to leave you to take your own money and buy this yourself. Thanks, Hagrid. Today. Sorry. Faulty cauldron's causing a stir. Gone on holiday. Back next week. I mean, granted, you're buying this in the middle of semester, so yeah, you got these other stores, and I'm pretty sure the the only stores that you can actually Going go into Paris are which, the ones. Which fashion show? We apologize to our customers for temporary closure. We are trying to locate our disappearing ink. <laughs> Bro, voice actor had a fun time reading that one. So yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the three shops. Closed due to family illness. And then he laughed on that one, so terrible person. Harry Potter, stay well away from here. That is Nocturne Alley. The shops down there deal only in the dark arts. Now run along before I turn you into a vole. Cat noise. Like to be a vole, would ya? Now run along. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn you into a turnip and then eat ya for my tea. <laughs> Like to be Okay, alright, no, no, I get, I get the gist, I get the gist, bro. Oh, good thing there was a save book right here, or else I'd be a little bit upset, wouldn't I? No. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. One last thing about uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is that the facial animation is really, really good. I know some people, like, comment on it, maybe it's a little bit, like, older, um, of a game, so, like, you know, there's probably some more realistic kinds of animation out there. And especially, uh, you know, games that just have more, like, detail in art assets. Although, it didn't look that shabby, actually. Like, you know, I feel like at 1080p, you probably have quite a fair bit of good detail in the characters. But the, the thing that I really liked is that their facial animations and the, the lip syncing, it felt very expressive. Like, I'm amazed at how, you know, oh my gosh, the slippery floor. And I remember this whole that, area. To access the vault, you must collect all the forms and then hand them to the goblin outside the door. I'm literally taking four bucks out of the, out of the bank. Through these double doors. Good luck. I, I'm literally taking four bucks and I gotta fill out all these forms. Hello there, my man. Oh my gosh, they're gonna make a huge deal about Do you wish to collect some canuts? Do you wish to collect some canuts? Oh, if you sure. wish to visit the first vault, you must complete the paperwork by collecting the appropriate forms. Move swiftly, though, or you will have to start again. Oh my gosh, really? Oh! It's not down in this direction. It was back up there. That's okay. I'm sorry, the, the pieces of paper are the same color as the floor. These are weirdly high quality textures for pieces of paper, aren't they? I got it. I got it. It's all good. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. I got my canuts. I'm going to get my canuts. So I'm pretty sure I've gotten every bean. So it's, yeah, it's not going to be any uh, mystery in picking up anything else in the rest of the game. Apart from, I guess, frogs just being around. Oh, this as well. This just happens. Good afternoon, Mr. Potter. I'll explain how to steer the mine cart. I got a big cold, Swing the mine sorry. cart left and right <laughs> using the directional buttons. The cross button will lock the mine cart to help collect some of the more difficult. Or I'm just conducts. making fun of a British Be accent. Be careful, Mr. Potter. Whoops. There are many obstacles in these mines. Steer clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. There oh are gosh. bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. 
Collect as many Canuts as you can to complete the level. Uh, we're just trying to complete the level, but uh, yeah, everyone likes a sequence like this. This is inverted as well. Or is it? It's probably not. So you lean left, you go left. Okay, this is gonna make everyone sick. I'm sorry, everyone. There's something for picking up all these. Look at these croc gems. I'm literally just roots up as croc gems. Oh, like I'm, I'm just not going the right way, I tell ya. It's a cool sequence though, I'll tell you that. But it definitely, uh, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I tell ya. Uh, but yeah, no, the facial animations are really expressive, like, you know, especially for the time, like, for what they are, um, and I definitely feel like, uh, a lot of care had been put into making them work, and perhaps that's, uh, the game's got a bit of a troubled development cycle, so it was kind of interesting, like, reading about it and just being like, oh, like, they picked the Source Engine kind of early, but, you know, like, this game came out very, very early in the Source Engine, so much so that they were working with a an alpha version of the sword, uh, Source Engine for a long time. Um, got enough coins to know. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You have succeeded. Care to have another go? I don't know Please what's return with the... to the bank through this door. With the gems? Someone could tell me what I'm missing with the gems, but I'm like, eh, I got enough. That's cool. Um, but yeah, it's... It's... It's a bit of a weird package, though. I think the ending of the game relies a bit too much on the combat. I think that, like... You know, your, your, I guess, ways of solving problems through dialogue and other kinds of stealthing mechanisms start to wear a bit thin when the game only lets you, you know, kill people. You're basically sent into a room, or sent into hallways of rooms, and it's just like, okay, you gotta kill all these enemies. And you might be able to sneak past some of them, but you're definitely not talking to any of them. Um, and then you're basically gonna fight a boss at the end. I see you have a cannot go in. Do you wish to try for the sickle now? Okay. If you wish to try for the sickle coin, you must gather the correct forms again. What? I got your forms last time. Are you kidding? Oh, the slippery floor. Why did they do this to me? It's the same kind of lap around the room as well. Oh, I'm stuck on the desk. It's okay, we're almost there. Almost got it. Okay, nice slide finish. Uh, but yeah, no, definitely would recommend the game otherwise, uh, apart from its kind of rushed ending. Um, I did have one quest. There was one quest involving setting up cameras for a guy um, kind of near the end of the game uh, in a bunch of places. And one of the cameras, or one of the locations he wanted me to go to, he said, I'll read an email in order to Potter, learn about the place. I understand you're quite expert in the collection of canuts. Yeah, okay. I wonder if you'll prove as talented at collecting sickles. Why? There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Stay clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. Remember, swing the mine cart from left to right using the directional buttons and use the cross button to lock the mine cart. Good luck. Okay, I guess. Um, there we go. Uh, but yeah, he he would uh, he would send you an email telling you to, you know, about the place, and then he in one of them it was like, oh, and you can't go into this place right now, so you're gonna need a key which I put in your mailbox. Now I read the email in the place where my where I don't have my mailbox. Uh, he, uh, once I went to my mailbox, he, uh, didn't give me the key. There was, oh, there was no key in the mailbox. Oh, I, I didn't have enough swing. You gotta swing it. It's kinda interesting, you got a choice of direction as well going on in here. 
don't think you get a choice of speed though, but it'll probably speed up later on now, I guess. Whoa. I'm doing okay though, I think. You got a pretty wide window of picking up things, I guess. I guess. You gotta swing real fast if you wanna pick up that many coins, though. Nice. Still nice. Oh. I'm gone. Oh. Oh, my neck. Oh. Okay, we're just going around, we're just going around, I guess. Uh, but definitely would recommend Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I, uh, I really enjoyed playing it. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Jeez, bro. Don't have enough coins. I didn't pick up enough coins. It's gonna yell at me. I truly expected a better performance, sir. Now remember, left and right in the. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, you gotta load it again. Oh, can't tell me off of that. Uh, but yeah, there weren't that many coins that came my way, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking that it was a split pass. I like the troll thing. I'm not intentionally retrying this. This is just legit. Uh, but yeah, no, would recommend the game. It goes for 30 Australian. It used to go very cheap on sales, uh, but it is also published by Activision, so your mileage may vary on how. Uh, would 100% recommend, if you haven't played the game before, at least play with the unofficial patch with the plus patch uh, installed, just because it'll clean up some bugs and... Oh, nice. It'll clean up some bugs as well as also... Um, Okay, we missed one, I guess. Um, as well as also, some of the uh, cut content merges pretty seamlessly with the, the rest of the game. Um, no, my money! I needed it. It's a weird... Uh, dichotomy as well, playing this uh, right after playing Deus Ex uh, Mankind Divided, because as much as uh, Mankind Divided I thought was also a good game, it's definitely like a much more, I mean it's a sequel to, you know, an existing game, so it's like... Gave, you, gave me the symbol for the gems at the top, but it didn't actually, like, show me any in this path. Also, I think I did that too many times. Yeah, I think I did that too many times, and then I circle around, and then suddenly it's like, no points. I picked up a lot of gems for I not getting enough coins, I guess. Same amount of coins. I probably went the same way as well. Um, but yeah, with Mankind Divided, it was definitely a lot more uh, by the books, I guess it felt. Whereas with, and, and to be honest, the story didn't grip me in Mankind Divided. It felt a little predictable. It was like, oh look, the big burly guy with one eye is uh, totally gonna be my friend. And then he wasn't. Wow. He's on the cover of the game as well, and he only shows up once at the beginning, or sorry, once in the middle, and once right at the end to be the, the villain in Mankind Divided. I thought, I was like, oh, okay. Um, at least with Vampire the Masquerade, you had a decent choose-your-own-allegiance uh, you know, allegiance at the end. Uh, even if it was a little bit, uh, you know, decided by... Oh, left or right? I guess it was left. Okay, you go left at the beginning. How does this even link up? I don't even, like, spot this linking up with, like... And I've lost my money again. Uh, 
I, I definitely know I went right afterwards. But again, like, how can you tell which way you're actually meant to go for the goodies? Okay, so left on the second fork. And I missed all of those. That just comes at you quick. I'm not prepared to like swing it like that, you know? That swung the other way, and I went left again, and I'm pretty sure this was a right for the third one. So left, left, right. That seems to be the order right now. And this just does whatever. Like, I didn't even touch the control stick at all, but. Well, no gems this way as well. I truly expect man remember left and right I had a fine time on the first one and this one is just like nah man you're not you're not getting it man they're being cruel they're being cruel to me I tell you so yeah not to say mankind divided is a bad game but vampire the masquerade got me talking about it and like really really talking about it and really like kind of thinking about how it all fit together and it was a really different and unique experience and it fit together better than I felt other games fit together um, so I feel like it deserves some merit for that and especially as a game that kind of is it's a cult game it didn't really sell too much it's, it's a bit hard to I guess explain cult games uh, okay, we're going left we're going left that I guess the gems were right, so... But... What control which way I went? Maybe you just go whichever way. But why do the gems sometimes spawn and sometimes they don't? Prepared for that yet again. There you go. All right, just a couple more coins. I saw there were coins there. So there's coins right at the end. Oh my gosh! I'm good. I'm I'm good, bro. I'm good. Harry Potter and the motion sickness. Please return to. I'm good. Oh, let me off the bus. Wild ride. <laughs> oh, I apologized if you get motion sickness, but holy crap, you gotta get your money somehow. I do prefer the, uh, the, um, the lab levels in the Emperor's New Groove. They felt a little less disorienting, and that's, <laughs> that's saying something. Excellent. Do you have a sickle coin now? You have a do sickle you coin now? Do you wish to try for the galleon? If you oh wish to gosh. try for the galleon coin, you will have to collect the correct forms again. Oh my gosh, just use one form to simplify the process. Jeez, bro. Something, something, comment about hoarding wealth. I don't know. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> you gotta, like, tiptoe around, like... I feel like there's a lot of funny things. Not funny things, that's... <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I'm gonna characterize them as funny things, but there's a lot of things I say in jest that's like, oh boy, oh boy, like, you know, man, you know, you could say them out of context, that'd sound dreadful, wouldn't ya? Wouldn't ya? You know? There's, uh, there's, unfortunately, uh, some vile actors on the internet, but you know what, like, just... Give him no credence. Ah, the famous Mr. Potter. You have quite a reputation down here, sir. 
The other goblins are convinced you'll steer the mine cart easily. My cart's capitalized, that's right how you know it's important. Button. He's gotta really the give you the tutorial the every cart. time. Good luck, you may need it. Be careful Different tutorial Potter. as well. There are many obstacles in these mines. Steer clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Uh, still no explanation as to what the gems do, but sure, okay. Okay, they, they expect some real leaning to get these. That's okay, oh. Play that croc 2 like, uh, mine level music. Put that over this. This is exactly how I feel. I can all like hide for to do one thing. Make them make the bank level. They're like, oh boy, we've got the tech to do this. I mean, the nice part about how it works is that you can get away with what they've done here. A pitch black cave background. You can get away with that because uh, I feel like I can all do a very good job of the fog. The PlayStation fog. It works real nicely. That was pretty good. Oh. I, I suspected that we were going to do another. Oh, okay. Points left. Right. Left. Oh, oh mostly. Oh, I was not prepped for that. Ah. I think the gems just mirror the coin placement that came before them. Okay, sure, okay. And I turned the wrong way, but sure. Except no gems for me, I guess. Hey, you see, there's mirror gems. It's more gems. Uh, oh, I got enough. Cool. Who knows? There might be more coins. There might be more gems. <laughs> Harry's happy. Cool. Thanks, Harry. Very well done, Mr. Potter. Well, that was a little easier than the other ones. You want to try again? No. You can return to the main foyer through this door. All to get some money. And all just to cure Har Hagrid's stupid dragon. What has that dragon ever done for me? Nothing. Stupid dragon. I'm curious if there's anything for getting the gems. It just seemed kind of arbitrary. And that's a really weird thing in a game where you can't replay anything. Like, that's the bit that really confuses me about this game. I I kind of get why you can't... You've collected oh all three gosh. coins now, Mr. Potter. I hope you spend them wisely. <laughs> Not really. Not really, Mr. Boy. It's a bit short, isn't he? Now, Mr. Potter, you're back. It's always a pleasure to see you. Okay. Thanks, bro. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um... Jeez. I prefer an ATM. Hagrid would go to the ATM next time. Okay, time to go into all the... It's just, just a group of people chatting outside the shop. The Magical Menagerie. What a wonderful word, menagerie. But yeah, I don't know what I'd personally be playing next as my, uh... My comfy game. Welcome to the Magical Menagerie, Harry. I've been expecting you. It'll cost you one galleon for the three wards, but you'll need to find my giant purple toad first. I've just had a delivery, and my giant purple toad has decided to hide under the boxes. Once you've found him, use your knockback jinx to stun him and remove the wart. Be quick, though. Having wards removed annoys him, and he'll disappear to spite you. Why are you getting me to do busy work, bro? All right, so what counts as a box? He's in this box. I saw him vibrating. 
he's still vibrating. There's a jump skipping rabbit. Right, rabbit? Rat. Okay, he has just decided to refresh himself, but sure. Let's see, refresh Your my time. Your ill-timed jinxes will destroy my shop. Start again and be more careful. Oh. Oh, you are really upset. You want me to really feel around for where this frog is before I start destroying all your merchandise. Could have told me that sooner. Alright. He just runs away, bro. Alright, he's got nowhere to hide. Okay. Froggy reset. Somewhere down here. He's chilling down here. Oh, there he is. There you go, dead froggy. Okay. Which box are you Oh, is he really upstairs again? There's one box up there. Oh, there's a bit more than one box. Is he at the far oh, he's not at the far box. Not making that easy, but sure, okay. I will accept this. I see you've collected your warts. Thanks for your business, Harry. Bye. You made me work for that. What a cute little froggy, though. I want one like that. I don't want one of these jump rope and rats, though. That just seems you know, a bit weird, a bit bizarre. Can I keep messing up? No, they're not gonna let me mess up your shop anymore. I got a little fish tank. Like, what is this? It's just goldfish and like, like little koi you can get. There's not even any like magical fish. What magical fish exists in the wizarding world beyond like mermaids and stuff? There's got to be something magical about a fish, right? Right? Hello there. Ah. I see you have three nut coins. Feel free to collect your peacock oh. feathers. My peacock lives in the yard. My advice is to sneak up on him. The surprise makes him drop his feathers. I must warn you, never use your wand against a peacock. You might hurt yourself. Just a real have peacock. Have a good look around. There are boxes filled with things I've long forgotten. Uh, sure, I guess. I love the kid who's like trying to blow himself up back there. Also, I am just in a maze. So I guess you run around. Dear me. And I thought you were a responsible young wizard. I told you never to use your wand against a peacock. Now this time, try to creep up <laughs> Oh, he just him. tells you off. And if you have to use your wand, keep it well away from my peacock. They just really wanted him to say peacock lots of times, didn't they? Isn't peacock a streaming service? What a bizarre name. I don't think that would catch on. But I don't know, so, okay, I assume you just run after him and he's eventually gonna drop... Okay, he's just... The bar keeps going down. And he just ran through a box. I guess I'm just gonna stand in him enough for him to... But he keeps doing that. Come on, Mr. Peacock. Come on. Did he just drop a feather or did he just decide to throw me off by stopping? Without shooting him. He just keeps you turning, bro. Bro, come on. Come on, Mr. Peacock. Like, what is that? That's the feather. That's the one feather. Oh, I guess... I guess... I don't know why, my mic's in the way of the bottom right of the screen, I just like glance over my mic be like, oh yeah, peacock. Let's see if I can get a third one just for funsies. Oh, 
Come on, come on, come on, get the third one. Get the third one. You collected three of his feathers, eh? I suspected you would do well. Okay. Thanks, man. Thanks, bro. May I just add as well that, uh... Is it some very, like... You gotta work your way to buy stuff in the wizarding world. No wonder. They're all in this, like, dingy alley. Now... What, what was this? Ilops? What a wonderful name. Ilops. I wish I knew an Ilops in real life. Unfortunately, it's got two eyes. Excellent. You have three sickle coins. That entitles you to purchase an eagle owl feather. My eagle owl is in the owlery, but he's rather highly strung. He must be fed before you can charm a feather from Why him. Why don't you feed His your birds? His treats on the table in the owlery. Use the Wingardium Leviosa spell to get the food to the eagle owl. Use the cross button to charm the owl treat, and then guide it to the eagle owl using the directional buttons and the cross button to keep it off the floor. Once he's fed, he'll nap. Then you may use the same charm to lift the feather back. Good luck, my boy. This sounds rather straightforward, doesn't it? Look at this little owl. He's actually breathing up there as well. Cute owl. It's been ages since I've seen an owl as well. So they were like, oh, you just gotta feed this guy, and then they didn't tell you that, like, he's, uh... Wingardium Leviosa! Surrounded by the hungriest freaking birds in the world. Just, just, you know, just, just... There you go. Wow, he, he is really hungry, isn't he? What? What's that guy? And then there's another guy coming. This is just Frogger. This is just a Frogger level. Wingardium Leviosa! That's okay. Uh... But yeah, this unofficial patch kind of got me thinking about the general topic of, uh... Fan updates and uh, community support, and I always feel like, especially, and he just poops out a feather. When there's a game that's like that old, I mean, like Enjoy Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines came out in 2004. I think it definitely, and especially as well, the company that uh, made it went out of business fairly quickly um, because they didn't really sell any of it. Uh, but I think there is a degree of like, you know, a fan patch is there to always cover the basis of what the main developers just never get to. I would always expect a game. You know, to not need You've fan got your patches. Feather, I see. Well done, and thank you very much. Do call again soon, Harry, and I'll give call. my regards to Hedwig. Cheerio. Cheerio. Okay, Mr. Mr. Bald Man. But to be honest, he's the least weird about all these people. He could have made it easier to feed the owl, though, instead of having like all these hyperactive owls flying around. Oh, hello there, PS1 Hagrid. Well done, Harry. Let's get back to Hogwarts so we can cure poor Norbert. Okay. And we're off. Um... I'm probably gonna get more cutscenes, aren't I? Home again at last. Now we'll give the Dragon Tonic to Norbert. Please do a dab. We've done it, Harry. Norbert is well again. Thank goodness I was so worried. Can someone I'm edit this dragon to do a dad? Sad in a way. That's not he's funny at all, I know. He's nest and fend for himself now. He'll want to go off on his own now, the wee soul. But I want to keep him here so I can look after him. What? Hagrid. You're not a dragon. Oh, okay. Back to the book. Harry, Ron, and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Okay. That night, Harry carried Norbert up to the tallest tower. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon oh, this from is something the tower that doesn't happen in the film, does it? Romania. Once Norbert had been freed, however, Malfoy sprang his trap. Harry was caught by Professor McGonagall. For his detention, Harry was to make his way into the Forbidden Forest and search for a wounded unicorn. Back with Hagrid, who couldn't just explain the whole thing. 
This is a weird bit of the film as well, isn't it? Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. The best way to find wounded unicorns is to follow a trail of silver blood. It should show up well in this moonlight. Follow the silver blood to find the unicorn. Be careful. The forest can be a dangerous place. Why are you taking know, Harry, the child? The brat Draco is waiting with Fang. If I'm not back soon, Fang might just have him for his dinner. So, one, leave Harry to just go on his own. Like, I, I get it from a game mechanic standpoint, but also just like, excuse me, just, ah, oh, yes, you know, you know. Well, there's some <sighs> white liquid. Incendio! I gotta do this. Okay, this is a very weird looking tree, isn't it? Trust Argonaut with their weird looking trees, let me tell you that. And also, uh, vine, I guess? Ooh, this- I'm gonna lock onto this tree. They did this in the Empress New Groove as well, they did knocking over the tree. It was like the first level. I remember as a kid, I actually had no idea how to knock over that tree, despite it being, like, painfully obvious. Not forever, but just for a little bit. We got- we got trolls. Also, I guess we got more beans, so I guess I didn't pick up all the beans. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Dumb trolls. Don't know how to not sneeze, I guess. Uh, we got more fire bush, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I feel like fan patches are, you know, they're great when they exist, I guess. Whoops. Whoops. I'm not gonna get this, no. Okay, cool. Incendio! I, I would like a world where the fan patch doesn't need to exist. I want the games to be good enough, really. If I don't really need fan patches. But I feel like there's gonna be games that are unfortunately rushed. And on top of that, games that need long-term support, maybe they're, um... Actually, I, I, I lie, I figured out a game I was playing. I, I played, like, the first, like, three levels of Max Payne 1, because I had never actually played it, so... Uh, it doesn't exactly have a fan patch, but it does have a bundle of- Oh my goodness, hello there. Incendio! Gonna set this plant on fire, bro. Deserved it. Now your question is- Oh, I guess, I guess follow the blood is the way to go, so I'm gonna go a different way instead. Uh, I guess I could- Take a swig of a mystical pot in the middle of the forest. What could possibly go wrong? You know? Um, but yeah, Max Payne 1, it runs decently fine, but there's a, there's a kind of fan, not a fan patch necessarily, but it's just like something, collection of just nice tools, like a, something that fixes direct sound, so, something that I, I think it uses DirectX 8, so it's like, it's got DG Voodoo configured under the hood. Um, at least I think it does. I gotta double check. Um, but there's a lot of that, where it's like, there's older games that do need that long-term support. And uh, fortunately, the community can definitely, like, fill in that gap. That is a... Turtle? Oh my goodness! Turtle! Stop! Oh, he just pooped. He's pooping on me. Right. This reminds me of a Metro Prime game. Oh! Agrid let me go out on my own in in the uh, the exterior wilderness of pooping turtles. Oh, hello there, Mr. Man. Ah, Potter. That oaf Hagrid sent me to tell you that we haven't found the unicorn yet. I doubt how you could find the boots on his feet without a map. Don't get lost, Wouldn't Potter. Cool. Remember these cool have a map that tells you where dangerous. the boots are. And then he goes where I came from. Cool. By the way, this is the first save after- Well, I guess you could save and die on Alien a fair bit, but... Just interesting that, uh... 
It's its own thing. I'm also taking my sweet time to go through this area, aren't I? I do want to beat this game, I'll tell you that, but... I was definitely expecting to run a lot closer to the two hour mark. Uh, then I probably will. Ooh, Chucky Frogs. On the, the unicorn liquid. Alright, oh. Right, excuse me, I'm shooting your butt. There you go, he turns green. As I can tell, he's angry. Oh, and I just ate that. Okay. Come on, turtle. Come on. Ugh. I just... They blow up. Like, okay. Um, but I think the uh, other thing with fan patches is that they're becoming a bit more of a rarity as game... Well, not as rarity, actually. But they are a byproduct of how popular a game is. Um, or at least how cult-like a game is and how much it needs support. Um, hello there, PS1 Hagrid. How are you I doing? I see you found the unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. Uh, you know there's some the in is... these woods that shouldn't be. I guess be careful Bing now. GPT. Stay with the path. What's the name? Call Sydney. Me if you find anything. Why don't you follow along with the blood trail, Hagrid, instead of walking into nowhere? Some real ominous music. This is bound to give kids the creeps. Just like the other forest level from a. The Emperor's New Groove game, I guess. Well. I'm gonna wander in this direction, Hagrid. I hope you mind. They really like these turtle things. These are like, I think these are a proper Harry Potter creature, but they just never show up in the films. I just shot the fire, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, pooping turtle. Who seems to coincidentally, like, ground pound and burn the tree every single time I hit them? This isn't in the- I should actually- hold on. I should evaluate the, the cliff where the blood was, just to double check I'm not going the wrong way. Oh boy, I'm about to sneeze. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, 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 I looked at this cliff and I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can climb it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is where the blood goes, because you can see the- the- Yeah, yeah, Incendio! Yeah, yeah, there's blood at the top. So me going right means I'm going the wrong way. Which is good. Because... You know how games be. They're like, oh look, we've got another route this way. I still, I'm still just gonna say this again. I don't know why there are no chapters or replaying certain segments of the game. It's just one long adventure. Hope you don't, you know... I saw, I saw it, don't worry. I saw it. Is this is kind of a 15? Uh, oh, okay. I... Did I pick up 14 in some, like, bizarre... Rowena Ravenclaw. No, that was 14. Because I got 13 from, um... The Quidditch match. I know, right? The Quidditch match gave me one. Now, I know there's bound to be another Quidditch match, and I know that there's... Probably something worthwhile in that, uh, you know, magical <gasps> cupboard, which I still haven't finished getting the beans, apparently. We're still getting beans. I'm thinking about them, at least. I really like the spooky forest, though. Oh my goodness. I don't care if it's silver blood. It's somewhat real. And it's blood. Kids hate blood. It's the icky red stuff that's in them. <laughs> and Harry decides to have a stroke. That's right, I loaded into that scene just to have Harry just crash on the floor. Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to Phil safety. didn't really focus on the centaur as much, did it? Ferenze he just, he just shows up. Unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. That was clearly him. 
But also, you you just named them after you. You were not supposed oh, to. Oh, that was a close shave, Harry. Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. Seems a bit desperate, don't you think, Lord though? Vol I mean, he must not be named, and you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. He's the danger. I've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Ooh, topic change. Topic change. Oh my gosh! What what am I looking at here? Is that a flute? Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out mm. on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. Hmm. <laughs> Mash the buttons, it's the same buttons every time. Ugh. <laughs> Falls asleep like that. Out like a light. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. Oh, he's, he's my friend. That really means something to me now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this whole, like... I've been doing some reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. He's the creator of the Sorcerer's Stone. Ooh. Supposedly does, it can grant eternal life to its user. Stone in the, uh, if in the British it's here, version. there may be snakes after it. There are even rumours that you know who's involved. We have to find a way to get past Fluffy. That must be where the stone is being kept. Ron and I will meet you on the third floor by the doorway that leads to Fluffy. We have to get the stone first. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. Now, I know... Well, actually, no. Hold on. So, so you remember, and you prob <gasps> you'll probably recall... Uh exactly the hallway that I passed in order to get to Fluffy or rather to like on the third floor in the forbidden corridor it was locked it was like okay I can't go this way but it was clearly in the entirely forbidden area of the castle which just so happened to have a troll then walk through by the way you you like how the hole where the troll like walked through which I entered after that section there's three doors, all closed and locked, that the troll must have come from one of those. And he was like, nah, I'm banging, I'm blowing open this wall. I don't know about these, uh, fireflies, but, uh, yeah, they, they don't want you going to herbology, I guess, anymore. I'm not really too sure why they even get you to run this way. You think, like, if the game's gonna be linear, they'll just... Pop you where you need to be, but nope, you gotta, you gotta just remember exactly where, where this thing is. I forgot what was over here, I, I, actually this was right at the, yeah, yeah, Slytherin, Great Foyer, yeah, it's just like, the other way to go. Very confusing castle. I actually, I like the other console games, which, um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna get it with the first, or the, the PC game, but if I ever do the PS2 game, uh, you're gonna love the, the actual Great Staircase. They forgot to put the Great Staircase in this game. Well, not forgot, but I feel like it's just maybe a bit beyond the hardware for what Argonaut felt they could do. So we're just like, eh, just enough corridors, I guess. Um, this thing is up, isn't it? Yeah, oh my goodness. So I'm pretty sure it was through here, the portrait room, where this person will- I forgot to get the password off the- off the twins. Whoops. Darn. It's just kind of annoying, it's part of a different map. I feel like the levels in- in both Croc 2 and the Emperor's New Groove, massive. This... Kind of small, I keep running into loading screens all the time. I'm gonna criticize this game. I'm sorry, guys. This was your childhood, and I'm ripping into it. I'm actually curious. Uh, engagement uh, nice challenge. One, Harry. You've got the beans we needed. The portrait password is Wolf Spain. Thanks for the beans, Harry. We'll make sure they find a good home. Oh. Have you heard the rumor? There's a troll on the loose around here. Smells worse than Percy's socks, and that's saying something. So this makes me wonder whether you're supposed to well. Actually, no, because 
You had to have gone through the troll and even, even to get back to this room, never mind they force you to go that way anyways. I'm pretty sure does this... Yeah, okay, so that's kind of where you need to go. That little door. Um, but yeah, uh, engagement challenge. I'm just curious, if you are a new or a regular watcher of my streams, um, I guess if you're on Twitch, I don't know how you'd leave a comment, but if you go, if, if you're on Twitch, go to my YouTube, find the VOD for this, and then if you're on YouTube and you're hearing this and you're already in the right place, leave a comment, and I know this is like, uh, Blendo driving comments, but like, leave a comment saying how many of my streams you watch, and then how many of these games are games of your childhood, or like, stuff you played ages ago. Um, because I'm curious how many of these games are actually just because you're interested in games of that older era, or actually because... Well, that's not a card. Harry Potter and the Mystical Ball. Knockback Jinx Duo. Oh. Okay. Neat. But it does mean that now I've got to look for more of the cards. Because I was expecting to get a card. There was one... one of these uh, bonus rooms had a card in them. But that's okay, I guess. Uh, but yeah, yeah, tell me if uh, any of these games have been your childhood or uh, anything like that, and whether I am absolutely ruining the magic for you, or uh, whether you appreciate a uh, mid-twenties Australian riffing on these games. I still think this game's neat. Like, it's not spectacular, but it is like something neat, and definitely, you know, it's like, yeah, it's a licensed game that does alright. Like, I can't rip into it, like, too hard. I'm already up to 82%. We could make this work. Because I'm an hour 37 into the stream. And also, that was the last save if I go back in again. Look at that, 85. So, who knows? Might actually get this done fairly soon. So here's the troll. Who busted open this. Harry! I think someone's making a move to steal the Sorcerer's Stone! Harry, I know you are brave. But promise me you'll be very careful. Not at all. Also, I love how it's like, oh, there might be still a fair bit left of this game. Bro, we're, we're going for the Philosopher's Stone right now. We're just going in. Meanwhile, the house point <laughs> This is actually, I think, the last stretch of the game. Up. Ravenclaw. Which makes you realize that the Forbidden Forest sequence is incredibly short. And all you Hufflepuff. do is you kill a bunch of turtles. Hufflepuff's still off their game. Slytherin. Here's Slytherin with the cheating points. Gryffindor. I'm so curious if uh, someone could do a, are in the lead a minimum house points. house points run. Try and the figure out how how little you can do in order to 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 get through the game, and whether uh, it's possible to just not beat Slytherin. It feels like it's probably possible to not beat them. What happens when you beat them? <laughs> He's cute except for the evil eyes. Only Hagrid would call this monster Fluffy. Of course! Harry, do you remember that Hagrid said that he used to calm Fluffy with music? Try and play the tune that Hagrid mentioned to put each of Fluffy's heads to sleep. Be careful, though. He looks ferocious. You guys are not going to help me, are you? Okay. <laughs> we go for the side heads. Oh, I made... How does this... Like, I kind of get it, but I also kind of don't. I, and Harry is constantly getting bitten. Here he goes. Turn that head into a sleepy head. One day I'll probably figure out. Oops. And now all three dogs are asleep, which means, uh. I still. Oh gosh, who composed that? that... It's a, it's a piece called Lullaby, and I don't know, I'm pr 
if I attribute it to Brahms, someone is going to tell me I'm wrong. You know, the it's like it's so sighted all over the place, and that was totally what was going on. Also, Vine Plant Monster. That's two games in a row with a Vine Plant Monster. Oh, good job, guys. I know what this is. It's a devil's snare. Oh, I'm and then so they killed glad Hermione. Know what it's That's a great help. Try and figure out the sequence of tentacles, and then use the incendio spell to defeat it. See, in the Try film, to to it was doing tentacles. nothing, but in the game, it is uh, burning. Oops. And then Harry immediately died because he had no health. Man, I realize I've played a lot of games with tentacle, like plant tentacles as well, not just like squids. But like plant tentacles, I don't. Something, something clicked in the minds of like early two thousands game designers, and they were just like plant tentacles. I hate them. Man, he attacks you in the cutscene. There you go. Thanks for standing in the right spot. I know what. Oh, I'm. Oh, no. Try and figure out the sick. Try not to get. You. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Take two. Oh, there we go. Yes, that is Flipendo, that's red. Oh, there's a center one as well. Nice. I think the sequence is... Oh my gosh. Can he get around without uh, being too bright? That camera. You can see he's bright over in the far end. Lose all the spikes when they start to Alright, Hermione, give me another tip. So, okay, you are just untipping. But, like, I thought, yeah, you want to cast Incendio, right? It's the same button to cast Flipendo and Incendio. Time you defeat one, a new one becomes the one to hit. And you obviously can't stay in the center. Why is this? Am I doing? I'm doing this really wrong. <laughs> Listen, I was just like, let me know if you played this game as a kid. Five minutes later, let me know if you got this for a first go. And here am I, just bumbling around like an idiot. But I'm pretty sure Hermione did just say, use Incendio, and I'm just like, this ain't, this ain't incendying. Bonk. <laughs> Alright, let's re-listen to what Hermione says. She goes, is. is Devil oh, Snare, so try, to figure, try to figure out the sequence of tentacles, then use Incendio. Then use incendio. Oh, okay. You... So are we just doing a sequence? So this makes me think, you want to hit that one, because it's being lit up. This seems kind of clear, but how does Harry get past Flipendo. without any of these guys hitting him? And then he keeps going back to this one back here. Flipendo. So okay, it's now that, and now it's back to this one. Okay, oh no, no, we've changed the one. Flipendo. We've changed the sequence. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I was doing this before. Flipendo. Flipendo. I'm pretty sure I was doing this before. I think the game just decided to Flipendo. toy with me on what was okay. And then there's gonna be a big one. There you go. That is, that is a decently big one. Flipendo. I gotta kick his butt. Oh, this one is he gonna come out of? The center one, yet again. Ooh, he pounds the ground. Come on. There you go, take some more hits. And he's back down again. Were you expecting a boss fight against a plant? This scene takes like 40 seconds in the film. Just, just a reminder as well. Uh, I guess you gotta do a boss fight somehow. 
It's kind of weird. There's no like call to Devil Snare in the film though. This is like a, I don't know. This is a thing that sometimes gets to me. But like, there's a lot of fantasy movies or just like things around the young adult thing where it's like thing happens or there's something that's just it's not really like brought up before. It just it happens. It's like oh, there's a Devil Snare. There's, a, there's just a plant that does this. It's like you know maybe do a callback to it. I guess in the same way as this game really didn't mention the Philosopher's Stone until suddenly we were just getting the Philosopher's Stone. At least all of these are bits Time that are in the film. Time to skills to practice. Good luck, Harry! And I will say as well, like, still, artistically, I see what they're getting at for all of these. been ages since I saw the film. Was there just a magical broom that was in this room? And it was like it took a great seeker to get it. So it's just, you know, Superman 64 your way through this again. Going through some rings. One day, I am curious if uh, Superman 64 is a game I'd even want to consider replaying. The worst part about Superman 64 is that there's a big hurdle to understanding the game, and then there's a big hurdle to understanding just the last level. It starts to ease up. It lets you, it lets you, like, on for a ruse because it thinks you're, you know, you're getting better. You're getting, you know, in the zone. Um, because I personally find levels 2 and 4 to be probably the hardest of the, you know, the, the non-ring stages. And even then, the ring stages are decently forgiving, because every time you, uh, you lose, there you go, every time you, you die, you just go back to the beginning of the ring section, like just the sequence of rings you're on, and every time you... Uh, if you die three times in the, like, so the ring sections, the levels, uh, consist of five, like, chains of rings with a minigame in the, in the middle. And if you lose on the minigame, you go back to the rings, unless you lose on the minigame three times, in which case you always go back to the minigame. So it's like, it's decently forgiving for, like, what it is. Is this a... It's just a hidden room over here? Oh my goodness. Who put a hidden room in the, in the end of the game up here? And what what even is the layout of this room? Oh. Oh, there's a save? Interesting. Interesting. There's a save in the room. Nice. Um, and yeah, so once, once you've done five ring, like, little ring paths, the level ends and then you move on to the even numbered levels, which are... Um, I guess more adventure stages. They don't involve flying through rings, but they definitely involve, uh, you know, doing some weird arbitrary tasks, and they're often the buggier parts of the game. I know um, a lot of people kind of stopped at the rings and said, like, "Oh, you do more rings," and they, like, I don't know. That's like half an hour's worth of the game. Like, if you don't play more than half an hour, which granted, it's a long the next half an hour. Is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. Ron really loves his chess because he is known for his intellectualism. Pieces, but I don't think I can go on. Oh my it's gosh. Up to you now. What? Oh, Ron, are you all right? Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Oh boy, do I know my chess puzzles? Is this even chess puzzles or is this just similar pieces in a square so i'm pretty sure i move this way and you want the pieces to go up to each other so they kill each other and then kill themselves which is an interesting move so they're all going to move around and i've just got to figure out how to convince the pairs of them to fight so I'm going to move over here, because this looks like I can attract the two pairs in front to go hit each other. This is exactly how chess works, by the way. Just want you to know. 
So then those two pairs back there are all going to do their own thing, so I just go back. And then uh, these two are going to come up and meet, and... The music's very ominous, I'll tell you that. They really know what they're doing with the music. Oh, there were more chess boards. Did you remember that in the film? Okay, so we're going this way. I don't know what the taller ones do, but I'm just going to assume they do the same thing. Yeah, they just kill themselves, I guess. Oh, this is going to be kind of awkward. i got to deal with uh, these two. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be good fun. Oh, he's f you, your boy. <laughs> oh boy. I'm um, gonna get connected. He's gonna connect me. Oh, Harry died. <laughs> the end. Um. Oh boy. I think I should actually move up here instead. This will still attract these two pieces to come in contact. But I need them to like converge on each other. And I think this is this is the position to get them to converge. This will get them to converge. Whereas like when I went too far left, suddenly the the, the black castle here was just like nah, no go. Same deal with the, what's going on here. you go, Harry boy. Always rules the threes. Where's the... Oh, okay. I was just like, where's the fifth piece? There's stuff going on in the back there. a general thing as well. I feel like there's a lot of movie-based tie-in games that have, uh, I guess, lots of one-off mechanics like this. Oh boy, I'm, this is going to be kind of weird having to deal with this fella here. Uh, I think I might be alright going back because the white piece... Nope. I thought the white piece was gonna come up first. <laughs> this queen was pretty happy about that though, but uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to look like a sandwich. Oh, now the white piece does his first move. Okay. Sure. So, okay, in that case, let's uh... Change it up, spice it up. Definitely pull these two black pieces here next to each other. I think. I think. I'm gonna get dangerously closer to these white pieces though. I might be able to get away from them. Oh, this is just going on in the back. I think this might be. Good? Because I can I can start backing off and these two will probably meet in the middle. This is a weird way of doing this puzzle, but it probably is the way. Sure, okay. Sure. Thanks Hermione for helping me out in this logic-based puzzle as the person who never lets go of her book. I'm glad you could help. Listen, I, I joke that Harry doesn't use any spells in the film, but Hermione ain't using any spells in the game. Oh, well, they put a little hidden passage right here. It's got more Chucky frogs and a book. Amazing. Um, wow, lots of Chucky frogs. 
Yeah, I probably didn't pick up all the Chucky frogs. I'll, especially when you just jump off. There we go. Getting very close. Getting very close to the end of the game. I mean, I guess I've done the chest, so like, what else is there? More Chucky frogs, I guess. Oh, just uh, more troll, of course. Do you remember this part of the film? Just more trolls. Oh no, it's waking up! Hang on, it's still groggy. I'm going to find the right spell to open the next door. It better not wake up or we'll be in Hello, big Hamora. trouble. You should really know that. Well, maybe Charm that's... all of these objects out of its way. Uh... Oh, some ominous... Oh my god, really? Oh! <laughs> well, that wasn't really out of his way, was it? Alright, so he's gotta be groggy enough that he doesn't trip over anything. Got it. Cool. I'm glad I did, didn't click in my head what she meant until it was too late. Ah, oh, there's a fair bit of that. There's a fair bit of just like... Oh, do I have to get the frogs again? I... Perhaps. Isn't that weird? The save doesn't... It doesn't save on the save, it saves on the map. Just eternally flashing. Ultra Instinct Harry. Hang on. It... Okay, okay, I get it. I get Charm it. all of these objects. Why don't you help, Hermione? Why don't you help? Wingardium Leviosa. Alright, here we go. Just pop this, pop this on the side. I'll never, I'll never find it. Okay. Wingardium Leviosa. So, yeah, it's, I guess... It's the end of February, so uh, I hope you all have enjoyed your February times. But I guess we got some we got some big releases in March. I'm trying to remember. Oh my gosh, the sneezy again! Oh my gosh, I closed my eyes. Someone told me that a uh, Pompeii by Bastille is a. Uh, is it Pompeii by Bastille or Bastille by Pompeii? No, I'm pretty sure it's Pompeii by Bastille. It's ten years old. Wingardium Leviosa. And then the troll is just like... <sighs> Man, there's some real convenient pits everywhere, isn't there? Oh, wow! I t that was a close one. Let's see what's next. Listen, if Hermione could get to the end of the end of the hallway, remember the spell. It's a lot weird hallway with a lot of suits of armor. Looks like you'll have to choose a cup that contains the knight and the shield. Uh, Did you sure. see the symbol on the shield? It looks like an ice potion. That must be what we need to get through the fire. Uh, sure, I guess. Oh boy, do you like cup and ball puzzles? Man, they do this in Croc as well. Uh, it's this one in the middle. Oh gosh! Flipendo. Flipendo. And now he is a very headless Nick. Flipendo. And now he's very dead. I guess the, the Flipendo duo kind of really helps, but it's kind of weird. There's not too many uses of it, is there? Great, Harry. But there's only one potion. You'll have to go on a lonely I, I could have just drunk I'm half of it, bro. I'm going to some help for Ron. Please be careful, Harry. Or I guess Harry. you're only half resistant to fire. Harry's just like, <laughs> help me. <laughs> Blackfire as well. Ooh. Sure, okay, we want an excuse. Hermione could have just been like, oh, I'm just gonna look after Ron right away. You didn't even need help. Uh, 
Alright, someone's been leaking all the chocolate frogs. They're just all chilling right here. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. Oh my You're goodness. Far too inquisitive to remain among the living. That wow. That's that's the voice they're using for him? Uh oh. A bit easier when you got the, the double spell, don't you? And when they don't have shields. You gotta watch out for the green magic spell, right? Come on, eat my froggies. I mean, my freddos. You can't stop me eating my freddos. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He's, got, he's got a gloat about it. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. What about it, bro? There you go. I'm so angry, I'm going to make a big one that turns invisible. What's with the way the camera's tilting on me? That's a cool effect, though. I guess I know it's just texture. Every. All graphics are just a cool hack. Like, all of it. It's just that cool hack becomes more mathy and more, uh, along the lines of the real mathematical- What? Along the lines of the real mathematical model underneath. Oh, the, the circles just chase you on that one. Okay, I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to hit you. Oh, he's got no head. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Turns out a crumbling school. Why is the school crumbling on him? Oh Damn my goodness. You, Potter. But, Master, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who would have thought it was Professor Quirrell the whole time? It's a very weird, like corner of the room that's just weirdly very lit up. Oh, look at that, some red juice. How convenient of him to drop this red juice right here. That's what they needed. Flipendo. They really love the big red rock, don't they? Look at this magical thing. He stole the magic mirror and put it in the slightly larger chamber. So, uh, like in the film, Harry just desires that he has the stone, and then he has the stone. He has the stone. Yeah, that's what I said. Harry Potter, give me the stone. I know you have it. Let me speak. I think some playtests have probably didn't face. recognize that it was Master, Professor Quirrell stronger. until he had the, the purple turban on. Oh my gosh! And over the stone. Look at this motion blur. Oh, it's coming at you. So I'm pretty sure you gotta. Oh, he's actually. Oh, he's properly, properly trying to kill you. I'm pretty sure you gotta. Yeah, had to shoot through the mirror. Cause you can, you can shoot it. Oh, I guess you gotta shoot the pylons. And then just fall on him, and he's like. Oof. Make more pylons. He really likes casting this on you, doesn't he? And then I guess greetings, Blub. Oh no, there's a bold man chasing me. This is terrifying. I just love causing pylons to fall on him. The ropes feel rather annoyingly forced, but. And then he stands like halfway between the, the plat or the, the pylons. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, he's gonna circle around. He's circling around, cool. Okay. 
I swear that the uh, mirror played a, a greater role in this fight. Oh my gosh, he's constantly roping me. I'm in the wrong place every time. Oh, now he's paused in front of the pylon. And he's glowing as well. Really loves these pylons, doesn't he? Getting a rhythm on him. Die, Potter. And he's made me miss a sequence. Good job, man. Good job. Oh, I'm on very little health, but you know what? You will heal to me, Potter. That's okay. You can't escape me, Potter. Surrender the stone. Surrender the stone this sounds like a wonderful warning. metal album name. There you go, now it's just like magical mirror. Shoot the mirror enough and it casts a big beam. And then Harry died. <laughs> because I was too busy shooting the mirror. Oh boy. Give him a stern telling off. How dare you break your bones, Harry? Alright, we'll take another stab at it. Someone's going to tell me off because it's like, oh, you're missing the magical cards. I thought I was on a roll finding them all, but I guess it might have been like more hidden rooms. I would have thought maybe there were like three mini games with the um the the cat I pooping out beans. Been oh, I gotta fight this in one go as well. Oh, that's a bit gnarly, isn't it? I mean, these knights are not too bad, apart from the one with the shield, it just kind of takes my time. Man, you know, that was a solid, like, ten minutes, I felt. Here's Blendo, he complains that the game is too easy, and then, uh, immediately it's just like, nope. You just gotta know how to fight these enemies. And be the boss while you're at it. You're a bit of a sitting duck when you're... Come on, come on, hundred, hundred fighting army. Flipendo. I guess the Flipendo duo does make this a bit of a quicker fight, though. Only this fight, Flipendo. though, because you're shooting pylons for the rest of the... rest of the boss encounter. Flipendo. Yeah, come on. Guys, easy enough. And then I guess uh, his hood falls off because Damn of rubble. You, Potter, but must. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What an interesting way to end the end the game. I guess you got to turn this guy into a bit of a boss, don't you? Man, I wish you could skip the cutscenes though. But yeah, uh, I don't have any hard, or I guess for, for streams, I think I know which game I'm constantly playing. Uh, this is, oh, that was the first try before, so this will be the second try. That's okay, oversleeping. He has the stone. I had to Harry catch Potter, up with a mate uh, at my work who had moved overseas, but he's still, face to face. he's still at my company, he's just in a different, like, time zone. And it was like, I'm trying to, like, catch up with him, and it's just like, I gotta deal with half, half like, half a day's worth of time zone, and it's the worst feeling. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Really? I did my, I did my... Pylons. Die, Potter. These ropes, I swear. Die, Potter. So, nope. Every time I shoot and it's not enough, he's like, 
I, I must die. At least I, if I'm a bit conservative in, in not taking hits, I think I should be okay. But he's just gonna cast the ropes on me constantly, so it gets a bit annoying, and then he stands halfway. Oh my gosh. Don't stand halfway, stand full the full way, there you go. He really does take his sweet time walking around the room though. And then he dodged that one. Are we done? Are we, are we on the next phase? Or nope. Oh my gosh, the ropes. Let me show you how the ropes go. It's really tough to time that, isn't it? You probably could. You probably could get the, the timing on that quite right. Alright, now... It, no, he's still going. He is still going. He is still rolling around. He can't decide where he's going. Now, he, there you go. Okay. So how many hits do you think this takes? Three? Oh, I guess two. All right, so now this is a big laser. You got to make sure you dodge that. That's all. That's all I think they want you to do. I, I think I just need him to be on a side of this mirror. Instead, he's just gonna choose to be on all the sides. All right, come on, come on, just come around here. Come around here. There you go. <laughs> the power of friendship. All right. So it's just making sure he's in the right spot and then going off that. Whoop, I nearly second guessed that one. So he's gonna walk around here, stand halfway, and then I can hit him. Cool. I wonder if this is a, this is like the bane of speedrunners. Just because of how long this looks like it takes. Because it feels like, you know, you're at the mercy of just his animations and his attack cycle before he just wanders over to the next part of ground. I bet they know how to manipulate. Yeah, it lo it does look like he, he always goes just towards you, depending on which half of the, the mirror, you know, you're on. But then he'll always stop in these halfway points. So I, I don't know, there must be something magical about uh, manipulating this guy. I just see that health bar and I'm like, I just want to like top off that health. Hand over the stone. Oh my goodness. You will heal to me, Potter. Very well. I promise you'll die begging for mercy as your parents did. Oh my gosh, it's the uh... Her quirrel. This seems really weird out of context, doesn't it? But the uh, the gist of what's happening in the game is you're gripping the Philosopher's Stone, which just causes Professor Quirrell plus Voldemort, I guess, to turn to ash. I don't know why that even happens. Like he wants the stone so he could live forever, but then he proceeds to just not live forever after Harry's touching the stone. I don't know, is there something about... something about it, uh, don't worry. And yeah, I don't know why Voldemort's on the back of his head. Uh, did they ever explain that in the movie? Who knows. And then Harry decides to have a nap, anyways. Now what's the difference between me having a nap and waking up in the hospital and me having a nap and uh, not waking up in hospital? Who knows? Also, Harry waking up in hospital after that? Pfft. As if. Dumbledore smiled. 
What happened down in the dungeons Get between down. yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. Yeah, the it, stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained. It just feels like it's you know, the, the more time you Lord spend Voldemort's in something, return. the worse you're gonna feel like Dumbledore you're nodded, wasting time. Like there's just gonna be more moments where you're, you know, Harry, wasting frames. If our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Good thing they totally Harry did. his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver. To celebrate Slytherin winning the house One cup. Hour twelve. When Harry entered, that feels really long. Hush. That does feel kind of long. Took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the but other But I guess students. there's not really too much you can like kind of skip in this game, the can house you? Cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team. With I mean, the I guess yeah, that's probably points. a major skip in there. At the moment, that would seem to be How's it going? The House Cup is awarded to Slytherin. They are all very happy Slytherin because table. they totally were good However, students and don't just have rich teachers. In recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's that makes sense pure as well, nerve and like, outstanding too many, like, courage, little hidden corridors I and award stuff. Gryffindor but a bit. 60 points. I just give Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional points had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. Oh, it's rigged! It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget Better tonight. than Christmas, really? Yeah. This was, well, this was a day two of a, of a, I think, yeah, this is a day two stream. There was a two and a half hour stream before. Uh, but yeah, I guess that is the end of the, the Harry Potter and the... Philosopher's Stone, not the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, we are using the Queen's English, or the... Oh, I guess I gotta say the King's English now, don't I? Isn't that weird, having to say the King's... Uh, this is my second time ever playing the game. Um, I don't remember a ton of it, but... Only double the time with 100%. Yeah, yeah, it's not too fast a game. Because you could probably find, like, other Argonaut games, uh, like... Actually, I'm curious how... I'm pretty sure the Croc 2, like, speedrun time is in, like, the the 30 or 40 minutes. It's a lot quicker of a game, but it definitely feels like there's more content in Croc 2. That's my only real issue with this game. Like, as, as much as it did kind of take me closer to five hours total to beat, it does feel like it lacks a little bit of content. Like, maybe it misses, you know, a fair bit of the beginning of the film and a, and a fair bit of maybe, like what would make that beginning part a bit more exciting because it kind of drops you off right at Hogwarts ha uh, you know Dumbledore tells you you're gonna die a painful death if you go to the third floor then proceeds to like just kind of let you go up there <laughs> after you've done your classes um, it's pretty alright but I just feel like maybe in the game they don't convey the uh, the ever looming threat of Voldemort really well enough it's just kind of Glances through the bits in the book and then goes, oh yeah, Voldemort's supposed to steal the Philosopher's Stone, so... Yeah, okay. But, still, as a as a presentation and as a bit of a package, this is a neat game? I don't mind Argonaut. Like, as much as, like, perhaps, um... You know, like, so, sometimes the games are a little shorter and maybe they were pushing out a bit too many licensed games near the end of their lifespan. I do feel like they definitely put in a fair bit of effort and charm into all their games and there's definitely something to, to, to take home. I also love the jitteriness of their PS1 graphics and I just want to remind everyone this game came out in 2001. The same year as Gran Turismo 3. Just 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 want to remind that like graphics were fairly better. That being said they've got sun shafts working right here. They, they do have fancy effects for a PS1. It's just you know, the PS1 shows its age. It shows its its uh its weariness in places. And I feel like also storybooks, you know, cutscene telling like uh with this desk and a big book. Uh you know, there's maybe a, a bit more engrossing ways of telling the story than just that. But I feel like I'm probably gonna get that in all the releases of this game, and I don't think I'm really gonna have any any better way of going about it. Found a video that might interest you. Harry Potter games used to be great until they weren't from Tackle Beacon Productions. Three week old video. Ooh. I did watch um, the the video on the comparisons with the different versions of this game. 
Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, it definitely seems like, yeah, I might get a bit of, like, reused assets for the PC version, but I'm curious how the gameplay, like, really does differ, because it's definitely going to play fairly differently. I think that's going to be kind of neat. And especially as well, uh, if I ever do the PS2 version. I, I, I don't know, the plan is still to stick with 3, because I don't want to touch the, the GBA version, and I'm not confident in the PS2 version. Actually, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. I feel like three of the same game might be enough, but who knows. Jeremy Soul, he did a good job. He did a good job. He talks about why games got worse, in part because of the short dev cycles, which were not viable late 2000. That is definitely true, and something where, uh, at the beginning of the stream, I was talking about um, uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, because I just recently beat it. And that game had, like, a three-year development cycle, but, like, back then, games took much less time to to finish so when a game is taking three years they're taking a sweet time uh and especially as well it's a smaller development team so you're also not expecting like the absolute biggest game uh, fun fact about that soundtrack he wrote it without ever having heard the soundtracks for the movie as it did not exist yet yeah he really captures the exact same spirit without actually hitting the same like themes but it's a it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good jam and, and that castle music that do 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 like I don't know where that is. that seems to stick with all the games. That music is in all the games, I swear. But it, yeah, like I'll definitely say the the music is spot on, which is is great. Um, I think it seems to consistently have good, just music composers. I don't know. Is it the same guy who does all of Argonauts games, or is it kind of like he's hired just for this project because? Uh, this game is published by EA. There's there's bound to be a bit of EA, uh, you know, influence here and there. Whereas uh, many of Argonauts' other games were published by uh, whoever. Croc was published by Fox Interactive. The Empress in a Groove was a Disney game. Uh, they worked on Star Fox. They did Catwoman later on. Oh boy, Catwoman. Poor Catwoman, that's a, that's a way to go out as a development company, isn't it? Um, but yeah, no, games back in the day used to be a lot quicker, and that's alright if you wanted, like, movie tie-in games, because you'd know about the, you know, uh, concept art and, and script writings and stuff of the film, and really it's just kind of they have to shoot it and edit it, uh, and, you know, really by the, like, nine, six to nine months before a release. And that's enough time to kind of, like, push out a game. Thanks, David Byrne. Appreciate it. You gotta, you know, <laughs> enough talking heads to last, last a lifetime, I guess. I'm curious if, if you ever throw a musician in a special thing. It's like, they didn't directly really, you know, help with the game, but they were just like, ah, oh, you know. Oh, no. He, she must not be named. Oh, no. I don't care. Oh no, Warner Brothers! <laughs> Holding my fingers. <laughs> uh. But yeah, no, this was this was a fair game. This was a fair game. Is there anything else that like? Because I'm I'm missing three of the cards, and I don't know if I'm. Hold on, I should actually open up the retro achievements page, in the back. Wow, that those credits went for a while, didn't they? But I'm pretty sure you just get, like, free reign of the castle for the, you know, for the rest. Finally, let's see who will win this year's house. I love how the cutscene said you won, but, yeah, I had the feeling, hmm, you could probably miss a bunch of optional stuff and, you know, not win the house cup. Ravenclaw. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Alright, so did I win the house cup or... Oh, I did! Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. But are back in the lead. Gosh, Hufflepuff, man. Sleeping on the job here. Alright, so I just looked at the retro achievement set and what did I miss? And, uh, there are some things that are missable. They've put, um... So the retro achievement set has 53 achievements. Oh, thanks. You're gonna save? Yeah, okay, save over this. 
What is my 100% rating? Oh, you're gonna make fun of the fact I only got 14 of the cards? Marina Ravenclaw. Yes, you're gonna make fun of the fact I got 14 of the cards. So, looking at the Retro Achievements page, there's a bunch of... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro, what? Bro, what? Calm down, Voldemort. Oh my gosh, back to the title screen. Um... So, okay, 97%. So, yeah, I looked it up. Uh, the Retro Achievement set, basically, there's a lot of achievements for just kind of working your way through the game. So, just stuff like, give Hagrid the Fire Seeds, retrieve the Remember All, win the Gryffindor vs. Hufflepuff match in Adventure Mode. Like, stuff that you have to do. There's things that are missable. Most of them are the cards that you find, the, the magic cards. Uh, there's also ones for collecting every bean in the game. Um... Which actually, hold on, let's let's do a fun fun thing where I expand out and I show the uh, the uh, the retro achievements list for you as well. Um, but yeah, there's a few of these that are just like collect a certain card or something like that, and all of these seem missable because all of them are in the castle and you can effectively lock yourself off. If I go into the castle now, it's probably gonna say, yeah, oh, yeah, I don't know where it's gonna put me if I go back into the game. This is curious. Oh! It just shows- it shows me the cards I got. And the game is done. The game is just over. Am I gonna get the laugh again? I am! That's spooky. That is spooky and creepy. That is rather weird. I'm curious if that's still there after you've gotten all 17 cards as well. They're just making fun of me. Uh, so, yeah, all of these just seem to be like relating to getting the the beans uh the quidditch armor is uh like one of the the bonus painting room bonuses so all of these uh m's just mean they're missable so they're all related to that now the achievements i did miss uh some of these are just defeat various bosses without taking damage um obviously missable because all of these involve the the, the career but or the, the the story but you'll notice Collect all the gems in Vault 1, 2, and 3. Those were the three cards I missed, and I asked myself, hmm, what do the gems do? That's what they do. Collect all the gems, and you get that. So, at the very least, whenever you beat the, the, the little gem trial there, you get the choice to try again. So if you did miss gems, they give you another chance. I also apparently didn't get all the beans. I'm curious where I missed some. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know about the frogs, man. Um, there's also a Gryffindor vs. Slytherin match in the adventure mode. Uh, your guess is as good as mine where on earth that was. So, uh, and then 390 points of Gryffindor before reaching Fluffy. I'm There's probably... I can recall one time I missed them. Maybe the the house cup or the, the fighting Slytherin means something else. The Quidditch cup is just like when I load the game here, uh, you're going to see... Uh, there's this play Quidditch, and you basically do like three matches of the Quidditch game. Or four. Or some number. But it's the same Quidditch that I've been doing this whole time. So, I feel like that's a very decent kind of view of how the game works, and that's probably most of what it is. I guess there's maybe some side things here and there that I did kind of miss a little bit, but that was pretty much most of it. So, I feel like you've got a good gist of the game. I'd give it a try. I'd give it a spin. It's definitely a nice, wholesome game. There's a lot of neat things going about it. And uh, ultimately, you saw it took me four and a half hours. It might be five hours more now, but that's okay. So, I'd say it's a fun game. Give it a try. Uh, but with that, I would like to thank you so very, very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this stream, you can follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube where you will see the same game. Not Actually, yes, you will actually see the same game this time next week. But you're going to see the Game Boy Color game, which will be an RPG. Will it be fun? Maybe. Will it be interesting? Probably. Uh, and it will be interesting as a comparison to this game as well, uh, which I think will be fairly neat. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, if you miss any part of the stream, the VOD will be on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, then uh, remember, leave a comment on the YouTube, because I really want to know, and I want to kind of catalog, how many people have been watching these streams and the games I've been playing have been games from their childhood. Or at least some of them. Or most of them. Who knows? But yeah, feel free. Leave a comment on there, because I really want to know how many people really love uh, these games as a kid. But until then, 
eat your greens, don't stay up too late. I'm actually feeling way not tired. I've been tired for weeks before, but I'm feeling good. So have a good one, everyone.